how to get your Toshiba Satellite L455 <clears throat> laptop to go from this to this. This is the laptop disassembled. You get your DVD, hard drive, battery, cover, RAM, top cover, keyboard, and of course the internals of the of the laptop itself. The screen I left on, the screen's working fine. That's a very easy removal. So there's the bottom. So we'll go over this because this laptop had to get repaired. Oh, somebody punched in the keyboard. Um, the port for your for your power supply <coughs> is broken um, and that was pushed in that's the reason they couldn't get the, the uh, laptop to charge so we'll fix all that and get it back new all right see ya i have a keyboard on order i haven't got it yet uh, but this laptop is a is a uh, fairly simple laptop to disassemble um we'll start and get right into it here okay so first i'm going to remove the battery um, set that aside. Next, and also it'll show you how to do a couple, couple things um, that might come in handy. Next here we'll, we'll uh, remove the RAM just for turds and giggles. Um, I'm using my Cobalt micro driver with, uh, with a very small Phillips bit and a pick. Um, picks are always handy when you're working on things like this. Alright, so to get to uh, access the, the RAM, you just remove that cover. Um, you just take these little tabs, move them aside, and the RAM will pop pop right up. And right up. Set that aside. Here's your Wi-Fi card, in case you ever going to do anything with your, with your Wi-Fi. The uh, connectors, they just pop off. They snap off, and then you can unscrew that, take that out. Um, next, we'll get the, uh, the DVD drive out. So to do that, you have to take this cover off, and you, then you remove this one little Phillips head screw right here. Right, that comes out. These are very small screws, so try not to lose them. When you got fat fingers with no nails like I do, it's pretty tough. Okay, so that little screw came out. I'm going to set that aside. Now to get the DVD drive out, this little tab here, you just push it, and the drive will pop out. Just work it out till you can grab it with your fingers. It slides right out. It's a SATA drive, so uh, you know it just plugs in when it goes in. All right, we got that out. We'll set that aside. Next, we'll uh, take the hard drive out just for the heck of it. Well, we got to get screws underneath here too to, to get the uh, body apart. So we take these two screws out here. All right, make sure them are out. We got to lift the lift the. Uh, panel up here without losing the screws that's the preferred method okay so we got that out I'm gonna drop this screw out set that stuff aside okay the hard drive hard drive removal is very simple you just take this little tabby here and you pull it and the hard drive just pops right out so there you have it, 250 gigabyte SATA hard drive. Okay, we'll set that aside. Okay, <coughs> now it's very simple uh, removing, removing the uh, pulling the body apart. All the screws here they're marked F10. Just make sure you get all the F10s out. Okay, out from the bottom. So we'll start, and I will fast forward through this portion to get to the end here because you don't need to see me taking out all these screws I like to do one screw at a time um, you know then flip it up get them out so that you don't uh, you don't want to take them all out and then flip it over and end up losing all your all your screws unless you have a, a big work area that uh, you know that where you know you won't lose a screw okay I got all the screws out, all the F10s from the bottom. Now, in addition to that, we have three little screws in the battery compartment that need to come out. And these are little bitty, 
little bitty guys so once again be careful not to lose them when you take them out I'm pretty sure these need to come out okay One. One, two, three. Okay, so we have all that done. Now we'll flip the laptop over. Open the screen. Now we'll remove the keyboard, which is a very simple, simple thing. Okay, now by the F11, F12, F4, F5, F1, and by the pause break screen there's little tabs you can just get your get your pick or you can use a, a, a little slotted screwdriver get this worked up and just pop her out like so the pick works easy the easiest I think okay now we want to remove the uh, there's only two screws to hold the hold the keyboard in right here and once again you want to do your best not to lose the screws. They're little freaking screws once again. Now that's down in there. Right? They won't go anywhere. And two. Okay, from here, keyboard just lifts up. Comes out. You got the little dogs on there to slide in. Now, the keyboard cable is right here. What you do is there's these little plastic tabs here. You get your pick and just slide them out. You don't have to use a pick. Like I said, you can use something small. Slide them out. And the ribbon will come right out of there. So, we'll set that aside. Let me get in and get you a close-up of there, what I'm talking about. Okay, these little... These little tabs are here. All of them have them. We have to disconnect this cable, this cable, this wire, and this wire here. The wires are straightforward. They just simply pull out. Let me set my screwdriver aside here for that. Okay, the wires just pull out once again. They pull out. The ribbons have these little clear handles on them that you can for to grab hold of. Okay, so here you just slide these tabs back slide the ribbon out up here slide them plastic tabs back slide the ribbon out now we just gotta take out these five screws right here that hold the top of the top cover in top of the top cover that didn't make any sense okay oh let me get my screwdriver out I had to readjust the camera sorry about that Alrighty, so we just there's one. Oh, before I forget, I'm gonna get the little screws for the keyboard. Get them out of there. Set them aside. Now all the screws, all the F10s and these screws are all the same length, so you don't have to worry about about uh, you know mixing any up. The only ones that are different, of course, are the the ones that hold the the cover for the hard drive. Them are shorter, and then the uh, three screws in the battery compartment. They're those little bitty ones. And then of course the two keyboard ones. Oops, see what I did? I didn't put the damn screw down. So I dropped the one, that's right. We'll be able to get it here in a minute. Set these screws aside. That one's all done, ready to come out. Okay, once we have that done, it's just simply getting a spot on the top here where you can where you can separate the gray from the black. So I'm gonna just find a little spot and start pulling it apart. Let's see, I'll get my pick in the corner here. That's a good spot. And it just snaps up. Now, there you have it. There's the bottom. 
all in good shape. Okay, set that aside. Here's my screw I dropped. And that's all there is to that. It's really, really simple. Now, the issue with the power, right here, is where the charger plugs in. And if this will stay in focus, I'll show you it's broken right here. This piece is supposed to set way up in there like that. But when this fell down, it pushed this back and snapped the, the mounts here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get that up there. I'm going to just shove some cardboard or something between here and the mount to hold it closed. And I think that'll work. Um, we'll find out. Let me, let me grab some material to, to uh, shove in there and we'll, we'll see what happens here. Alright, what I've done is uh, I took a 3x5 index card, folded it up, and shoved it in between the mount and here. Let me see if hopefully this will gonna not uh, whatever. See, I shoved between there and there. Now this is secure. So if I take the, uh, the plug for the charger plug it in it holds good now you know I'm sure it's not gonna you know stand up to a whole bunch of abuse or anything but uh, you know that's a I think that'll be a pretty good fix and there's nothing here uh, you know to worry about getting heat in there or anything you know this this area is uh, away from all the circuitry everything so it's actually uh, a perfect spot for it also just you know a little FYI the uh, the charging port here is removable you just pop the two wires off if you ever got to get a new one pop it in just slide it back in there because this just lifts lifts out of here like so all right put that back in there see if i got you lined up let me, let me check this out here i'm actually uh you can't see what i'm filming here so hopefully everything's working out good okay one more quick thing that i forgot to that i forgot to mention was it also, on the cover, the mouse buttons, one was broke. Um, this one here. So I just took some blue tape, taped it back in, because it, it's just held by, you know, it's a little plastic, and, and, you know, it's very, very light, weakly held. So this blue tape, all you got to do is just hold it in place, and that, that works perfect. The blue tape also, um, it sticks good, lasts a long time. It's just, all in all, you know, pretty good, pretty good product. Okay, so now we'll put this back together. You know, if you want, you know, you to take some air and blow things out here. You know, this or that. Um, it's not that dirty. I'm not worried about it right now, so um, we'll set this back on. And then we got to hook all the all the cables up that we that we took off, and that's very simple. Um, you just get your your tabs. Make make sure that your that your little brown things are out, and then you just slide your slide the ribbon. Right back in where it belongs. Once you get it, once you get it slid in, you just push some tabs in, and it locks it in place. All right, the stuff's kind of small, so you got big fat fingers. It's kind of a pain. Then just slide that in. Close your tabs. Get your wires. These picks come in handy too. Um, you know, I got a set of four different different style picks for five dollars. So, you know, cheap tool, freaking use them for everything. That and the little micro drivers. Okay, get that. Slide that in. Bingo. Now we just snap this back on. Aha! I see a problem. I'm gonna have to trim that. I gotta trim that uh, index card down because the speakers hit it. So. Let me just pull this apart real quick, and I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, close enough. 
Okay, got her trimmed down more. Get her shoved in there. Here's the pick. Alright, let's make sure that's going to be good. Uh, take the plug. Yeah, I think that'll work. Set you back on there. Ah, thing of beauty. Thing of freaking beauty. Okay, let's get all our little wires back in there and whatnot. Come on. Good. This is very easy. Um, one of the easiest things I've really ever worked on. There we go there. There we go there. Okay, just pop everything down there. be back in a minute as soon as uh, I get all this stuff screwed in. Kind of boring to watch that. So we'll see you in a Board. Of course, I'm putting the old one back in, but I'll just go over hooking that up again. Once again, just make sure your tabs are out. Just take your ribbon, slides right in, and just lock your tabs. Simple as that. Set that back in. Get in there. Put two little screws in. Once again, these freaking screws are so little. I don't know why the hell they make them so little as that. Ooh, they take it. Oh, well. Alright, tighten it up and you know, as with anything, you don't wanna, you don't wanna, you know, really freaking reef down in this shit because you'll strip out your screws or your threads. Okay, got that in. Now to put this back in, the one side has cutouts. They go over, you know, you can see right here, they go over to the, over the little tabs. So what I do, I just stick one side in, stick the other side in, and just push it down. Bam. Done. Alright. Oops. Now, we'll just real quick, like, go back over the installation of the, the hard drive. Very simple. Just make sure you have your cage up. You don't, you don't want the writing on the hard drive up. You want the cage up. You got these little tabs on it. They, there's notches here. This will just sit down in there, like so. That's it. And then you just push it in. Bam. And then when you put the cover on, the two screws go through the cover and hold that tight in place. Now, as far as your RAM, another very simple operation. 
just take your RAM, and if you want to replace it, also this has room. For, this has room for two, uh, two sticks of RAM. Currently, there's only one in there. But what you do is you just take her, make sure your notch is in the right place, shove it in, and just set her down, push her down, and uh, it'll lock into place with them tabs. Once you pull them tabs back, like I say, the RAM pops up. You know, so it's uh, it couldn't be any easier. Okay, then of course your your DVD, your DVD ROM. That once again, you want this tab facing up. Okay, you don't want it facing down. Find your slot. Where the hell? Oh, this side. All right. Get your side. Of course, you know the writing. You want the writing to be facing down since the laptop is down. You just simply take it, slider in, and that's it. Put your screw in. Bam. Done gonna be easier Ugh. I think a blind monkey could do it of course getting these stupid little screws in is another thing all right we get how would you like to be the person that runs around and puts a Loctite on all these things that would be a sucky job all right there's that we'll put the cover back on slide that in it snaps down snaps down take the screw up don't forget to put the three little screws in the battery compartment. Okay, let me find them. One. Yes, I don't get my screws out of here. Oops, drop, drop, drop. Once again, you don't want to lose them. You just set them in there. I just get them in there and work them in with my picker or, or the screwdriver. No sense in fussing with them too much. All right, where's number three? There's number three. They're a little bitty ones again, remember. Okay, get your screwdriver in there. Whammo. Need a little better light here. Probably getting a headlamp on. I always say that. Oh, shit. Okay, that's in. Stick the battery back in. Okay, the battery's in. And we can... Put our screws back in all the holes marked F10. Once again, really couldn't be any easier. Oh, yeah, the hard drive. I'm sorry. We'll take the hard drive out for a minute. I forgot there's a an F10 in here that's kind of a pain to get at if you got the hard drive in there. There we go. We'll shove you in there. Tighten you up. And then we can stick that hard drive back in there. Get you in. Okay, hard drive. Set it down. Push it in. Good to go. Alright, we'll put the... S2 on here. Whoops, you know what I did? I put the... I think I put a short one down in there. Let me see. Whoops, you know what else I did? I had a couple screws in there. I forgot to tighten. No, I put the right one in there. So... I ended up just creating more work for myself. Oh well. Alright, stick you in. Tighten you up. Tighten you up. And like I say, when we put the cover on, that's what'll hold the the hard drive, you know, get her get her snapped in there nice and tight. Get the cover in. That pops down. Then it uses these kind of medium they're not the big ones, they're not the real little ones, they're the in-between ones, and there's only two of them, so you can't miss them, unless you misplace them. Oh no, see, I got it right in front of my face. Look at that. Freaking idiot. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. We'll plug it in and see if it works. Well, you know what? We'll do that right now. And I'll finish screwing the crap in after. All right. There. Bingo, bingo. Okay. Let me get this. Let me find a place to plug it in and I'll be back. Okay. I got her plugged in. Uh, let me plug it in the wall. So let's plug it in here. See what happens. Let's see if it works. Try to power it up.
There you go. Done. Alright, Windows session. Zooming windows. Alright, people. Any questions? Ask. See ya.